John Barth's The Sotweed Factor is a sprawling, satirical novel that blends historical fiction with metafiction, presenting a narrative steeped in irony and dark humor. The novel follows the misadventures of Ebenezer Cook, a naive poet who is appointed as the Poet Laureate of Maryland, and sets off on a journey to claim his family's tobacco plantation in the colony. Through Cook's character, Barth constructs a biting satire of colonial America, human folly, and literary ambition. At the heart of the novel is Cook's naivety, which fuels much of the comedic tension. He is an idealistic young man who clings to his sense of virtue and honor, even as he stumbles through a world of corruption, deception, and violence. His innocence contrasts sharply with the brutal reality of the New World, a place where survival depends more on cunning and ruthlessness than on the high-minded ideals that Cook espouses. This juxtaposition serves as a critique of both the colonial enterprise and the literary tradition of epic poetry that Cook seeks to embody. Barth infuses the novel with layers of parody, particularly of the picaresque tradition. Cook's adventures echo the episodic structure of earlier works like Don Quixote, but Barth's approach is more self-aware, constantly reminding the reader of the constructed nature of the narrative. The novel frequently breaks the fourth wall, with characters commenting on their roles within the story or the absurdity of their situations. This metafictional technique underscores Barth's broader critique of narrative conventions and the limits of storytelling itself. The novel's title refers to a satirical poem written by the historical Ebenezer Cook, an actual poet who penned the Sotweed Factor in the early 18th century. Barth reimagines this figure, transforming him into a fictional character whose attempts to write the great American epic are repeatedly thwarted by the chaotic events that unfold around him. This reworking of historical material is emblematic of Barth's postmodern approach, blurring the lines between history and fiction, truth and fabrication. In doing so, Barth questions the reliability of historical narratives and the myths that undergird national identity. The New World setting serves as a microcosm for Barth's exploration of human nature and society. Maryland, in the novel, is a place of lawlessness, where pirates, thieves, and opportunists thrive. Barth presents colonial America as a place of moral ambiguity, where traditional values like honor, loyalty, and justice are constantly undermined. The colonial enterprise, with its promise of wealth and prosperity, is exposed as a farce, built on exploitation and violence. Cook's idealism is repeatedly challenged by the harsh realities of this world, forcing him to confront his own complicity in the system he naively thought he could navigate with integrity. The novel also engages with questions of identity and the self. Cook's journey is not just a physical one but a psychological and existential one as well. As he grapples with the various identities imposed upon him, poet, heir, lover, colonial subject, he is forced to confront the fluidity of identity itself. Barth plays with the notion that the self is a construct, shaped by narrative and circumstance, rather than a fixed, immutable essence. Cook's evolution over the course of the novel reflects this idea, as he moves from innocence to experience, from certainty to doubt. Barth's prose is dense and often labyrinthine, filled with wordplay, allusions, and digressions. This style mirrors the novel's thematic concerns with the complexity of language and narrative. The act of writing, for Cook, becomes a metaphor for the broader human desire to impose order and meaning on a chaotic world. Yet, as Cook learns, this desire is ultimately futile, as life resists the neat structures of poetry and prose. The Sotweed Factor is both a celebration and a deconstruction of the novel as a form. Barth revels in the possibilities of storytelling, while simultaneously exposing its limitations. Through his use of parody, metafiction, and historical reimagining, Barth offers a profound meditation on the nature of art, history, and human experience. Cook's journey, with all its misadventures and revelations, becomes a reflection of the broader human condition, a quest for meaning in a world that is often absurd, chaotic, and deeply flawed.